Hello everyone, Joanne with stampinginthevalley.com and welcome to my craft room. It's time for the July free card kits. And how do you get free card kits from Stamping in the Valley? Um, what you do is very simple. Go to stampinginthevalley.com, click on the big blue button and order just $25 in Stampin' Up! product before shipping, handling and taxes and I send you these two free card kits. It's a rule by Stampin' Up! I'm not allowed to send a stamped image but I can send you anything that is like punched out or framelit dies. So that's why these card kits are designed like this and does not have many stamped images on it at all. You can stamp your own image here. Like you will get the oval thinlet, but it will not say thank you. I'm not allowed to do that. So that will be blank. Okay, you, because we have color card bases of Pineapple Punch, and I'm using Lovely Lipstick for Sunshine and Flowers, um, this is a framelit, so you'll get that to glue that down here. But on this card, I used an Abstract Impression stamp, and this will just be plain, okay, the insert, because I'm not allowed to stamp. These are beautiful card kits. The envelopes are included. Please continue to watch, and we will put these together in just a moment. First, we're going to go ahead and put this card together. Let me show you what's going to come in your kit. You're going to get your card base right here, and this is of um, Pineapple Punch, and it is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. It will open like a book, okay? You're going to get these two framelits that come in the Springtime Impression Thinlit dies right here. This is absolute. These are. This is a gorgeous. Thinlet set. I mean, even if you didn't get the bundle with the abstract impressions, but I love that. Who wouldn't love that? Wait till you see me use this um, because you know I love to stamp. But for these card kits, for you guys, for card kits, they have to be cut things that are already cut for you and not stamped. So that's why your kits come like this. So um, I'm very, very excited about this um, bundle, actually. Um, I love this right look at that that looks like it looks laser cut and what the best thing is about this is that you can cut around this and use parts of it this is just on whisper white this is just my idea but you guys take it however that far or whatever you want to do with it do whatever you want with it and I love to see pictures of that I had a customer um, email me some pictures of the last month's card kits that she did and she did a little something different I love to see that that makes me so happy um, I I love creativity I absolutely enjoy creativity but then again you know like when I do paper pumpkin sometimes I just don't want to be creative I want something to be created for me so here I am being creative for you but you guys can also take this and do whatever that you want with it so okay back to your kit now you're gonna get your stitched oval frame or stitched oval right here on whisper white that's gonna go up here not stamped you're gonna get the inside of the card whisper white this is four and three quarter by three and a half and you're going to get a plain whisper white envelope so this will be your kit okay it will come like this I don't want to bend those okay and I might like put this inside the card. Always look inside your cards because sometimes I hide things in here so that they stay flat. Like doilies and something like this is very important to stay flat. Okay, so let's get to making this card. Okay, first what we're going to do is use our flower stamp and our lovely lipstick. And our lovely lipstick is just that, very lovely. Um, so we want our first uh, stamp to be of the solid of that flower and we're going to go into our lovely lipstick and it's very very dark I'm going to stamp off twice when you do this type of technique the solid part of whatever stamp you have um, <clears throat> should be lighter than what you put on top of that and then that's what gives it the effect of the two-tone now, the, here, again, I put this one into the lovely lipstick. Now, I'm going to just stamp it off over here one time and then come over top. And because this is abstract, you want it not to line up perfectly or whatever. Um, so, the only thing I'm doing is making sure this little squiggle in the middle is in my little middle right here. <laughs> 
So that's all. That's it. And that's how you get that beautiful effect of that two-tone with that flower. I love that. Okay, so let's move that aside. And I'm going to bring in my envelope here. And again, let's start with the more solid stamp into the lovely lipstick. Stamp it off twice and stamp. And then this one stamp into the lovely lipstick, stamp it off one time, and there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I can't wait to use this and really do, you know, the outside of a card with the stamping. So I stamped off twice, and this one stamped off once, and just like that. Okay, so now we have the inside and the envelope finished. Let me bring in my, um, my thank you and my framelit. Let me close my lovely lipstick. <clears throat> and open my pineapple punch. Pretty, pretty color pineapple punch. Just tap, tap, just like that and come over your stamp. And of course, like sometimes I stamp this first and then cut it out, but um, of course I'm going to be sending you the stitched framelit. So you could do it this way too. And right there, just like that. Okay, now comes the nice part of putting this together. Let me move all this aside, get my scrap paper out of the way, bring my card base in, now, I bet you're wondering, oh my goodness, this is so intricate. I love, of course, you're going to use Tombow for this. You're going to use liquid glue, or you could use your snail if you have a, um, a silicone mat. Now, there's a couple of ways to use the Tombow. Um, here I have one of our Stampin' Sponges with a little binder clip, a little mini binder clip on it. And I would take the Tombow now, and I would just apply it, okay, to the sponge just like that. I keep it in a little, this little container, I got them like, I don't know, 20 of them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, something like that. Not 20, you know, I think, honest to goodness though, I think it was 10. I forgot my silicone mat, sorry. Um, so I have my silicone mat here, and you can take it like this, and then you can take this glue and just daub it onto your project, okay? And then add more glue and just kind of dab it, daub it, whatever you want to call it, onto this close to being laser cut um, is what it looks like to me. It's absolutely gorgeous um, embellishment for the outside of a project. I can't wait to take some uh, Stampin' Blends or I'm even thinking some watercolor pencils and um, you know, like an aqua painter to this thing because I think we can get some beautiful, beautiful effects with that. Okay, so see now I've got Tombow all over it. Okay, you can also take your Tombow and just dot here and there everywhere. You know, just put, put dots just like that because it is um, extremely good glue. So you really don't need that much of it. I would put it on the outsides where you think something could, you know, pop up if you don't have a sponge, or you can even use a dauber with that, a, you know, a sponge dauber. Um, now this right here, just run it underwater, no big deal. That's how that's cleaned. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my card base, and I'm going to bring in my beautiful embellishment, and I want to just kind of line it up here on the bottom. And this is fantastic because you have wiggle room with the Tombow. Okay, just right there. Oh, that just went down beautifully. If you get a little glue, it just rolls right off. Okay, perfect. Isn't that perfect? That's beautiful, guys. Okay, now I'm going to bring my embellishment in right here and one of my flowers. And I'm going to take just two of the petals of the flowers. It doesn't matter which ones. And just dab some Tombow on it. Okay. And then I'm going to attach it right here to the card. I mean to the, I'm sorry, to the oval framelit. 
Then I'm going to get my rhinestones. And of course you're going to get the rhinestones. And I'm going to put a large one, so you'll get one large, one of the large ones, in the middle of this flower right here. Pick that up. Just right there in the middle, okay? Just like that. That's what you want that embellishment to look like. Isn't that pretty? Hmm? It does remind us of um, sunshine and flowers. Now we're going to get just a couple of dimensionals. And again, I am done with this uh, thing of dimensionals from the inside. I never throw it out. I always use my edges. Okay, and this will just take two dimensionals. Now, the dimensionals will not come in your card kit. I don't um, supply any of the adhesives okay or a scissor or anything like that now this goes on the outside of the card just right there oh, beautiful and then two more rhinestones so you're going to get for this card you'll get three rhinestones one there and we'll just put one there okay now with this we're going to bring in our inside of the card Oh, I stamped the flower. Um, let's use the other side. Actually, what we're going to do on this card is use, um, let's see, wait a minute. Does the other one have the stamp on the inside, doesn't it? Yes, let's use that for the other card. So sorry. Um, let me get another inside again the inside is four and three quarter by three and a half and for this card you're going to get this little embellishment again you'll get two of these flowers i got ahead of myself with the inside of the cards but that's okay then that's done because you can stamp whatever you want on the inside if you want to right there with the tombow just down in this corner any way you want it Flip it over and this for this I'm going to use some snail. Try to apply even pressure and take your time or you get a skinny one like I did over there. But that's okay. We're good. Now we're going to bring this in and apply this to the inside of the card. Okay. Just like that. And that is finished. So here's what you're going to have. I finished my envelope. And there, the only thing I have to do is finish my angel policy on the back because I do sell my cards at craft shows. So I do use the angel policy on every card. And then when I send them to you, that's a requirement of Stampin' Up! So I do that. But um, this is so beautiful. Didn't that come out so pretty, guys? Look at a pair of these together. Isn't that pretty? Okay, back in a minute, and we'll do the next one. And now we're going to make this little card. Um, this card features the uh, thank you thinlet die, okay? And this pairs in the bundle right here with um, a big thank you stamp set. You can save 10%. You've seen me use this one already. Um, I love this. Where I love these squiggles. I'm very intrigued by the squiggles and this right here. So I've got a lot to do with this stamp set, but... For the sake of these card kits, I'm just going to use the thank you that came um, as the thinlet, okay? So now here's the way that this is going to come. Um, let me let me say this much. Uh, I've started a list, and if you're new to me or you haven't ordered in the past month or two, um, when you do order, I am going to send you these two color coaches right here. I just print them from my computer and use a little staple here. There's no big deal. Nothing's laminated. But these are the in colors, and they're the color coaches. They'll be in your card kits, okay, if you haven't already um, received one. I do have a list, so you're only going to get one. You're not going to get multiples. Uh, so now here is how this card is going to come in the kit. I will already emboss this for you. Okay, right here on that um, pineapple punch. Isn't that just so pretty? And then your thank you will come like this. Your inside card will come like this. And this is four and three quarter by three and a half. Okay, you'll get a whisper white envelope. 
no stamped images, and then your card base is 11 by 4 and a quarter scored at 5 and a half of lovely lipstick, and it opens like this. Now, in the previous video, we already stamped this, okay? So we're going to go ahead and apply that to the card. It all comes together, guys. It all works, right? I hope you're having a beautiful summer. Um, I hope the weather is good where you are. Today is a little rainy here in Upper East Tennessee in the morning, and my grandson made the All-Star uh, Little League team here, and we have a game this afternoon if it doesn't get rained out. So that's exciting. That's always fun with the kids. Um, I love that. It's just it's just too much fun. He's only seven, so they're really learning, and um, it's a lot of fun to watch them progress. So now with this piece, you will go ahead with some snail, or you can use Tombow, whichever you'd like, and just go ahead and apply this just like that, and then place this right here on the card, leaving that nice eighth of an inch border all around the edge. Sunshine and flowers is what inspired me for this month. Now, um, this one, you can use your sponge if you want to. I'm just going to take a little Tombow right here and show you that um, it's so easy just to dot this. Uh, the tip is small and you can just put this kind of wherever you want. You know, use a little bit of a bigger dot in the larger areas. Um, I love Tombow. It's extremely inexpensive and it goes a long, long way. I use a lot of it when I do my craft shows toward the holiday. Um, so I do tend to use more Tombow at that point because like I say, it is very inexpensive. Good glue. Okay. Just so right there. Now, right here at the bottom, we're just going to angle this thank you just a little bit. Isn't that pretty? And it's going to overlap on our embossed image just slightly. We're almost done with this card. <clears throat> just like that. And our inside is decorated. And I'm just going to pull in another envelope. It, my, I decorate my envelopes with the abstract impressions with this, with both of these cards. I thought that it looked great. But you will get a solid envelope right here, Whisper White, with no stamped images. Um, okay, now just, let's see, just a few, three um, rhinestones. So let's put one here. And you want, they're not going to come loose. I, I leave them on here and I just cut them, cut three of them out for you. And I'm going to put one by that N and one in here of the curl of the U. Like that. Just like that. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com, click on the big blue button, and you can order any and all of your Stampin' Up! supplies. These are the cards free card kits for this month. I hope you enjoy them. They come with envelopes just like this. Isn't that beautiful? I love this, guys. I am absolutely in love with this element right here. So, there's our two free card kits for the month of July, Sunshine and Flowers. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.